I just know whatever I put on, it's gonna be real zaddy esque. Zaddy esque. Zaddy esque. Like everybody went, oh, zaddy. We might have to work on that one. Zaddy? Maybe Poppy, Papito. Zaddy. That's French. Saying, watch, when you hear somebody call me Zaddy, don't be like, damn. Well, tell the people where you're from first, so they know what part of Texas your style originates. I'm from Tomball, Texas, which is the, the best place in all of the world. When I first got into the league, I don't know if you saw me, but I used to wear cowboy boots all the time, belt buckles, plaid button downs. I still put that in some of my everyday wardrobe now. I don't think I've ever owned cowboy boots and I'm from Texas. But my kind of Texas taste is kind of like the baggy stuff, so the big tees, the white tees, the black tees. You know what I mean? Just It's hot out there, so you can't be tight with the shirt. You gotta be loose, you gotta be able to function. So my style, just kind of like my game, is it's always maturing and growing up. Like when I got to the league, it was just a bunch of sweats, hoodies. Before I was in the league, I didn't pay attention to the way uh, others dressed. Didn't care. Yeah. But now it's, you know, we're all competitors. You get ideas from people that you actually pay attention to. It's not so much what you wear to me, it's how you wear it. Like, you can wear sweats, you can wear a suit, you can wear the ugliest jacket, but if you're wearing it with confidence, it's fresh, because I wear it. When I went to Milwaukee, I brought clothes like I was still in Texas, so like basketball shorts, white tees. You just didn't know. So I had no idea. Yeah, that's I didn't. I didn't yeah. know where Milwaukee was on the map, like nothing. I didn't even know. You were just excited just to have Division the one, yeah, like yeah, hell. Yeah. I get there, the winter comes, and I'm like just going through all of Wesley Matthews clothes, taking jackets. I think jackets are nice because it's, it's always an extra layer. You can always put that on and take that off. I like layering. I like dressing up, but in Miami, I just rocked a t-shirt. I think that fashion has a good place in NBA, Jimmy. And you know, just you know, seeing all these players go on the fashion week and, and things like that, I think it's, uh, it's really helping people expand their brands. Because of the profession we're in, we can touch and enter so many different type of markets. And I think fashion is just a, the newest one. I feel like more, more guys are gonna start coming out with their own clothes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like making their own stuff and their own lines, like yeah, their own like casual productions. I've always been a big fan of Jimmy. I don't think I ever told you that, but like just, just your game and how hard you play, you compete. And like that's, that's what I'm looking forward to is just having another dog in the trenches. Yeah, I think we're going to shock so many people. We got a team full of dogs, underdogs at that. Nobody works the way that I hear Miami works, and we're going to always have each other's back in the end. Thank you for talking to me today about fashion and, and your life in NBA and how you've Evolve. No, for real, I appreciate the time, um, getting to know you a little bit. I'm excited to see the fashion that you uh, enter the arena in. That's it, that's a wrap. Justice and Jimmy, part one. Jimmy and Justice, part one. Put my name first. <laughs> <laughs>